Greetings, studious and diligent students. Sorry if that sounded a little stereotypical, but I'm having a little fun with y'all. So, um, one of the last things I feel like right now I can show you with the three finger technique is switching between two fingers and three fingers. Now, I've said to you before, if you have a complicated pattern going across strings and whatnot, you want to use as few fingers as possible, so two or even fewer, like one. But let's say you're using three fingers to rock out on a groove and you get into a tricky pattern where it's easier for you to drop a finger and use just two. Well, there are a couple different, there are two main different exercises that I use that I will instill to, instill to you so that you can start practicing so that when you need to get from three to two you can do it no problem. Now I've shown you that one of the two finger techniques that you can use is index and ring finger. So basically you're skipping over your middle finger and just using your index and ring finger to groove. So what I do just to get into the habit of going from three to two is one and two and three and four and 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 so I go through on a steady eighth note pulse one and two and three and four and using index and ring and then the next measure of four four I use all three one and two and three and four and the way that it's set up the way that I'm doing it is index ring index ring index ring index ring and that sets me up to go through index ring middle index ring middle index ring index so no matter what, the way that the pattern is set up, I can alternate smoothly and cleanly between two fingers and one finger. Now, the other way you can do it, obviously, is index and middle finger. So, there's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and and three and four and one and two and three and four and now it's a bit awkward because I've told you before you know the way that I do the three finger technique that I'm showing you how to do it's index ring middle index ring middle but the way that this different variant of switching from two to three and back to two it has you end on your ring finger so common sense to you would the way that I've been showing you is to then start grooving on start the next pulse on your middle finger but I go from ring to index rules are meant to be broken this is the most comfortable way for me to do it you know index ring middle index ring index middle index middle if it works for you that's great but if you need to come up with a different way of going from three to two by all means you're big boys and girls you can figure it out on your own I'm showing you because as far as I'm concerned in regards to positioning and holding your hand on the bass as long as you can strike the string with every finger every pick stroke smoothly cleanly and evenly the only proof that you're doing it wrong is if you cramp up any muscle in your hand your arm your shoulder that's the only sign to me that you're doing it wrong so listen to your body and if these two techniques from going to three to two or vice versa don't work for you you now have a guidance, a, um, a way of doing it, so to speak, that you can branch off and come up with your own ways of doing it. So tomorrow we're going to go, I'm going to show you some three finger to two finger 
usage in the Iron Maiden song The Trooper, and we're also going to go more in-depth about scales, focusing still with the major scale. <laughs> 